Hi all, in this session we are going to learn about divergent convergent questioning followed in design thinking process. First let's understand what is divergent and convergent thinking. In divergent thinking, the thinker will think about all possible ways to reach a particular solution. Here the thinker will go through all the possible ways or methods to solve that particular problem. Whereas it Convergent thinking, the thinker will always think for a particular well-defined final solution. So let's understand this with a comparative analysis. In divergent thinking, we usually use imaginations. We have a problem or a question. We have to think about various solutions or various ideas using our imagination to solve that particular problem. In divergent thinking, the designer should also have creativity so it is also called as creative thinking or horizontal thinking whereas in convergent thinking it is using the logic or the facts that we have learned through our experience or through our academic knowledge so here we will get into the answer or to the solution from the facts that we have already known so it is called as critical thinking or vertical thinking or analytical thinking or linear thinking so critical vertical analytical linear all these sort of thinking are the synonyms of convergent thinking let's see the difference between the concepts of convergent thinking and divergent thinking convergent thinking is the process of figuring out a concrete solution to any problem concrete solution means a well established a well defined final solution to a particular problem whereas in divergent thinking it is the process of thinking that explores various multiple possible solutions in order to generate creative ideas convergent thinking follows a straightforward process that focuses on figuring out the most effective answer to a problem whereas divergent thinking refers to opening the mind in various directions and trying out multiple solutions for a for a single problem the various characteristics of convergent thinking include speed, accuracy, logic, etc. The characteristics of divergent thinking include spontaneous, free flowing, non linear. There is no restrictions in divergent thinking. We can leave our mind or our thought process naturally and we can find out with free flowing ideas or solutions in any linear or non linear pattern. Divergent thinking is more creative whereas convergent thinking is more logical the solution of a convergent thinking are more accurate and most of the time there is no ambiguity in the solution so the solution will be precise and accurate in case of convergent thinking whereas in divergent thinking it keeps the various options open a complete accurate answer may not be always identified so let's understand this with an example if a designer is said to design a particular lamp in convergent thinking there will be only very few similar common ideas these are the common shape or the design of a bulb whereas in divergent thinking the designer should think about all the possible different modes of bulbs these are the different modes of bulbs that can be designed in different shapes different features different textures etc so each design has its own pros and cons so this is the role of divergent and convergent thinking in case of design thinking process. Let's understand the concept of divergent thinking with a case study. Find out the uses of pen other than writing. So here the designer should think about what are the other uses of pen except writing. So if we remove this cap and the two ends, we can use the pen as a straw, pen as a toy telescope for kids. In our childhood days, we all may look through the transparent body of a pen to see the rainbow colors. It can be used for rewinding the cassette tape. It, it can be used as a stabbing weapon to stab someone or some object. It can be used as a paper punch. We can use the nib of the pen to punch hole in a paper. It can be used as a ruler or a scale to draw a straight line. It can be used as a smartphone stylus. It can be used as a whistle if there is a hole in the end of this particular cap. There are many other uses of pen. If you google you can see 100 different types of uses of a pen other than writing. Next is the second case study. Identify the uses of fork other than eating. So a fork 
can be used for scrambling things it can be used for mixing things it can be used for stirring some sort of liquids it can be used for poke things or even people it can be used as a pitch fork for digging small pit if you want to take some if you want to take something out of a fire we can use a fork for taking that so the fork is made up of steel and it will not catch fire it can be used as a murder weapon it can be used as a tool for torturing people or criminals etc it can be used as a property to open something it can be used to open the lid of some tight containers etc next is let's see a problem which uses the concept of divergent convergent thinking construct a number of possible designs and then refine them to narrow down to the best design for a drug trolley used in hospitals show how divergent convergent thinking helps in the process provide your rational for each step using hand sketches only so drug trolley is used in hospital for carrying out the medicine from room to room so this is a tool used by nurses to carry the medicines so the design should have a wheel and it should have different racks so this is one of the simplest design you can make it with even plastic or steel or any other metal things but definitely it should have wheels though the name itself is mentioned as trolley so the next design can be instead of using the plastic material we can use metal next is instead of keeping the racks open we can create drawers so that the medicines can be kept much more safer here the medicines are stacked vertically next we can change go for the option of horizontal stacking of medicines in rack so here the closing lid is kept horizontally and we can horizontally slide the lid and we can take the medicines out of it next design may be like both horizontal and vertical stacking and there is also open area and closed area so if you want to keep some medicines closed you can use that if you want to keep some medicines open you can keep it in the bottom rack so it is much more efficient than the other methods next can be like for each room we can use different different racks so you can paste the room number for each rack and you can sort out medicine for each room in separate racks so this is much more better design next is this with closing lids or drawers with separate separate rack for each room and there is also a desk been kept aside for dropping the medicinal waste or clinical waste so, so this can be considered as the best design as it incorporates all the ideas of various divergent solutions so this particular design will cover all the features of the other solutions mentioned here so this can be considered as the best feasible design so this is how divergent convergent thinking is used for making a design better and better through phases so in a team we have to discuss to solve a particular problem each team member may go through divergent thinking process and each team member may have different solutions so we have to incorporate or convergent to the best design convergent to the best design means we have to find out the best feature from all the divergent solutions and make it into the final single solution so this is the role of divergent convergent thinking in design process thank you